finally cold for once. Fucking winter sucks. movie. Though I have no idea how anyone could ever make an RPG out of it. John Carpenter's The Thing is one of my favorite movies of all time. It is one of the best horror movies ever made, bar none. It uses lighting and practical effects to ingenious perfection that builds slowly on concepts of paranoia and intelligent creature that lurks in the shadows. But tragically, with success comes nostalgia, and with nostalgia comes horrific recreations that try to capture the lightning in the bottle that was the thing. Yeah, I'm a purist when it comes to the thing. John Carpenter's recreation of The Thing from Another World is a perfect recreation. There is nothing more that you can do with this series. It is done and finished. That hasn't stopped people, of course, but you know how these things go. But of all the things that actually could have been made, I was really surprised that they never attempted to make a The Thing RPG. Until now. Lo and behold, I find that someone did attempt to make an RPG out of the thing, entitled The Thing Who Goes There. This is the brainchild of Michael Tresca, a somewhat completed RPG that used the D20 open gaming license to its advantage, in order to create what I can only assume to be a pure passion project. The D20 open gaming license is a story for another day. The short of it, though, was is that Wizards actually allowed their D20 system to be used by just about anyone instead of the traditional copyright laws. It's because of this that we got a lot of terrible games whenever 3rd edition and 3.5 came out, and a couple of really good ones. At either rate, this RPG is going to be graded slightly on a curve. It is clear to me that this game was merely released by Tresker, one of his friends, onto the internet without receiving a proper release. But my rule, when it comes to this show, is that if a game was released on any medium for the use of playing by others, then it is fair game. Since I found this game on Scribe, which is a public locale where you can download RPGs, it is fair game in my book. I mean, all things considered, the game really isn't horrific. It's very clear that Michael Tresca is a fan of the movie and also a fan of the extended mythos, and he really put a lot of time and effort into this thing. Tragically, it's a little bit of good and a little bit of bad. Tresca is clearly a fan of the video game, as he takes aspects from the video game and the movie and tries to blend it into an RPG. He takes a little bit from each and then molds it to the D20 system. There is a fear and trust mechanic that is present in this game that was also present in the video game. There's also an insanity table that's lifted straight out of the Call of Cthulhu realm. Considering the fact that the thing was actually considerably a Lovecraftian horror, this makes a lot of sense, and I like adding the motif. He even puts a great deal of work into the equipment. There's even a flamethrower. Mac wants the flamethrower. Mac wants the what? That's what he said, now move! But after that, we get into some problems. For instance, a lot of the built mythos isn't great. 
I do appreciate the timeline, but beyond the movie, a lot of it just kind of ties into the corrupt government military bullshit. McCready is still alive and for some reason is on this mission to avenge his life, I guess, onto this thing. And just generally trying so hard to justify why there needs to be something that happened after the thing was finished. This is also one of the biggest reasons why the thing cannot really work in any other medium, including video games, role-playing games, sequels, prequels, whatever. The thing was pretty well finished off at the end of the movie. McCready and Childs were pretty well dead as well. The story is over, it's finished. So it doesn't make a whole lot of sense whenever you start bringing in the damn corrupt government for the sake of corruptness and the military cover-up, military weaponry bullshit. Also, why do these stories always have to involve a government conspiracy or the military trying to turn everything into a weapon? It has easily become one of the laziest storytelling devices in the history of storytelling. I mean, what is the point of something like Department 7? Wait, Department 7? Where have I heard of that before? You're not surprised to see us. Look, there are S7 protocols, okay? Ah, well, I guess Tresca can't account for taste when it comes to movies. God damn it, Michael Bay. I also want to bring up the advanced classes. Why would you... Wait. Advanced classes? Advanced classes? Where the hell's the regular classes? Seriously, where are the regular classes? They are not featured in these notes. Did, did he forget to add them? You wouldn't think so if this person's going to release this for people to play. Are they, are they the regular classes and this is just a typo? Well, no, they're requirements. Easy to reach requirements, but requirements nonetheless. Are you meaning to tell me that these soldiers just sent regular Joes to Antarctica to train while they were there? Maybe it's a flub and he forgot to add it. But this seems like a pretty glaring mistake. Is this game a crit or a miss? This one is actually kind of tough. The game is clearly a passion project and was not made for a wide release, but it certainly has some merit to it. Tresca put a great deal of thought into this and deserves some credit for doing the best that he could with the subject material along with the system that he chose. However, the game might not even be finished, and the additional mythos given wanders too far into the realms of outlandish. Ultimately, I'm going to have to give this game a miss. The flaws just outweigh the pros in this scenario. However, if you're a fan of the thing and you want to roleplay it, aside from using GURPS, I would at least try this out. It's on Scribe right now. Download it. You might actually find some enjoyment out of it. However, if you actually catch someone cheating during the game, just take a page out of R.J. McCready's playbook. Six. Checkmate. Checkmate. Cheating bitch.